Hello everyone, in this INR number 23, which is a continuity of INR number 22, where I had explained you about the basal ganglia structure and their pathway. Now I am going to tell you about the lesions of the neurotransmitters of the basal ganglia, right? which is again a very important for exam PYQs. So basal ganglia, neurotransmitters and their lesions. So number one, if you look at the structure striatum or neostriatum, which we have seen that caudate was there. Right. So if they are there, what they were releasing, they were releasing GABA neurotransmitter. Right. And what will be the defect if GABA is not released or striatum is damaged, they will be causing Huntington's disease. Right. Second, substantia nigra, another important point. Substantia nigra usually release the dopamine. And whenever we see the damage of substantia nigra, dopamine will be not released. And that will be called as Parkinson's disease. Third one is globus pallidus. Globus pallidus will also release GABA, but when there is a damage of globus pallidus, no GABA will be released and that will result in Tourette syndrome. Right? So what is Tourette syndrome? It is a repetitive movements or unwanted sounds, ticks that can be easily that can't be easily controlled, right? So that is very important. Tourette syndrome is because of globus pallidus where GABA will be affected. Subthalamic nucleus. This was the question in the INICT and IFMG exam both, right? So subthalamic nucleus, glutamate will be released by them. And when there is a damage of the subthalamic nuclei, glutamate will be not coming. And that will result in the hemibalismus of the opposite limb, right? If, if it is right side of the subthalamic nuclei, so left side you will be going to see the hemibalismus. What is hemibalismus? Sudden, violent, involuntary movements, right? It, it is a suddenly involuntary movement will be there. It will be violent movement. High amplitude of the movement will be there. And they will be confined to one side of the body. As I said, they will be confined to the one side. Suppose the lesion is on the left side, then movement will be affecting on the right side, right? Commonly affecting the proximal limb. That is the difference from the chorea. Chorea will be having the you know distal limb will be affected but here this is a form of chorea only but here it will be proximal limb so proximal limb will be affected right if you look at the chorea of huntington disease it will be the distal area which will be affected but here it is the proximal limb which will be affected and that will be opposite to the side of lesion right so these are the structures neurotransmitter and disorder again i tells once again i repeat striatum is having gaba defect will be causing Huntington chorea. Substantia nigra is dopamine. Defect is causing Parkinson disease. Globus pallidus will release GABA and defect will be causing Tourette syndrome. Subthalamic nucleus will be releasing glutamate and defect will be causing hemibalismus. Keep revising. Best wishes for your exams. Bye -bye.